everyone and welcome to a new episode of the pen nook in today's video we're going to be discussing what is my favorite fountain pen for the outdoors so i'm talking here anything from camping uh, kayaking uh, hiking hunting fishing whatever you do i think that fountain pens are still very useful in the outdoors so depending if you are maybe writing a journal or just writing a novel or anything like that it is great to have something to write with even in the outdoors and so today i decided to give you an overview of my um my thoughts really on what is the best fountain pen for such a setting so here i have a little selection here so we have a bit of everything some uh, metal pens some plastic pens um, some demonstrators some pistons some uh, cartridge converters some pens that are quite small and light others that are big and heavy some pens that have a snap cap some pens that have a threaded cap so a bit of everything just to discuss so let's go through some of the important characteristics a fountain pen should have in my opinion to be a great fountain pen for the outdoors so first you have some type of uh, resistance to the elements so typically you will be writing around a campfire or on a boat or in a desert or on, a, on top of a mountain or some type of an environment that is not as um let's say easy or not as uh, comfortable and safe uh, as opposed to let's say a house or an office setting so for that reason i think your fountain pen should have some type of uh, resistance to the elements so i'm talking here uh, resistance to drops to impact so a pen that won't just break apart if you drop it so of course not like a, a glass dip pen or some type of uh, funky things like that also i think it is a good idea to have a pen that has a good resistance to dust infiltration water or mud so if you ever drop your pen um, in the sand or if you drop it in a, in a puddle or something like that and finally some resistance to uv light uh, this is really not that big of an issue but depending on how you plan on using your pen so for example you're doing a road trip and you plan on writing let's say a two-month road trip and you plan on writing your journal uh, all day long as you are the co-pilot or stuff like that and leaving your pen on the dashboard uh, which i wouldn't recommend no matter the pen but nonetheless if that is the use case um, don't use a plastic pen because plastic pens are typically more uh, affected by uv light so they will maybe discolor or crack but that is not that big of an issue for a single trip it is more something to keep in mind to keep in mind if you do um, this type of uh, trip over and over again so going back to the drop and impact i think that the metal pens are a bit more um suitable for that purpose of course something like an abs lamy safari will not break if you drop it um it happened to me a couple of times and never had uh, even damage even i mean nothing at all on the pen on the other hand if you have uh, something like maybe i don't know a twisby eco i'm not that sure if you drop it uh from six feet on a rock will it break i don't know i won't i wouldn't try it same goes for my Microlon lamy 2000 so i wouldn't take any uh, composite or plastic pen out there i'm more a type of uh, more a metal pen enthusiast for outdoor uses so you know something like this uh, kavec oil sport or these Keras custom ink very um, heavy duty metal pens they might scratch they will scratch if you drop them on rocks but they will not break um, next up we have yeah the dust water and mud uh, resistance so for that purpose i think uh, a pen with a threaded cap is a bit better so something like you know if you take this twisby eco has a threaded cap so the dust would have to make it past all the threads or the mud or the water before it actually starts affecting the nib and the feed which is more unlikely than let's say a smooth uh, snap cap like this 2000 i'm pretty sure this is not waterproof or dust proof by any means and if you're doing a lot of uh, i don't know maybe you're driving a motorbike on a gravel or dusty road for a week uh, this might not be the best thing yeah so i think threaded caps are better in that regard so then if we move on to the next characteristic i think fountain pens for outdoors should be quite simple so of course all of these pens are great pens i love them all they write great they're reliable and normal use but some of them are more complicated than others so if we take for example this lamy 2000 if you want to take it apart i mean it is not super straightforward you have um, a lot of threaded parts small parts fragile parts when you take it off uh, take it apart 
and also ideally you would need some type of lubricant like silicon grease to put it back together. So not the best type of uh, fountain pen if you have to service it uh, while on, in the outdoors. It can be done, I wouldn't recommend it. It, it is not practical when you compare it to something like uh, Elami Safari. It is super simple, cap, you have the section, drop section like this, and you can just pull out the nib or the, the feed, super easy to clean. There's not much to go wrong with it. So this is a basic mechanical design uh, principle. The more parts you have, the more likely you are to have a failure, uh, all other things being equal. What I mean is, if you have a very sophisticated, uh, let's say, piston mechanism with different moving parts, it is more likely to have a failure than something very simple that has no moving parts, for example. So in my case, I prefer cartridge converters for outdoors. Although you could carry you know, a piston fountain pen with a bottle of ink, but again, bottles are quite large compared to cartridges. I mean, depends on the capacity, but if you are just going for a week or two, and maybe you need 10 millimeters, uh, 10 milliliters, and you carry an 80 milliliter bottle of ink, of gla a glass bottle, I mean, first it's fragile, second it's cumbersome, then it's not my ideal choice. I prefer cartridges for uh, trips, hikes, and stuff like that. Next point, we have the, uh, the size and the weight of the pen. So depending on a trip again, it might not be an issue. Let's say you're going on a road trip. I mean, 100 grams won't make a difference. So you could carry um, this big and heavy Keras Customs ink in copper with no issue. But if on the other hand, you're going on a hike, let's say a two week hike, and you have to carry all your gear, I don't know, your sleeping bag, your food, your tools, your clothing, everything like that, you might want to go with something lighter. Um, like these pens are much lighter uh, than this one. And then you have the size also. It might be a concern or not, but something like a Caveco Sport, no matter the material, like plastic, uh, steel, aluminum, brass, I mean, they're quite compact. So very short, they fit in a, in a hand. So very nice and compact in that regard. I think they're great pens for both size and weight. It's kind of related, right? And finally, we have the price of the pen, the value. Um, Although I like a lot my Keras Customs, my Sailors, uh, Lamy 2000, Pilot VP, they're quite expensive uh, for me, so I wouldn't like to have something happen to them. So in the outdoors, I mean, you never know. You could get, uh, you could have your luggage stolen, you could drop your pen in a, in a lake, you can drop it in a fire, you can just lose it, you never know. So I wouldn't take my fancier pens in the outdoors, Something like Pelicans, Visconti, even Sailors, even my pens. I would never take my fancier pens outdoors. I would like to have something a bit more affordable and of course not like a limited edition uh, <laughs> pen. So something that can be replaced, but at the same time, something that is uh, quite high quality and that shouldn't let me, shouldn't let me down uh, during the trip. Because again, you, you will have limited, limited access to uh, fountain pen stores uh, for sure. So considering all of that stuff, my favorite fountain pen for the outdoors, it is by far the Caveco Sport, the AL Sport, so the aluminum version. Why? Well, uh, it is quite resistant to drops, impacts, it is all aluminum, it has a threaded cap, so it will have uh, dust and mud and water, it will have a hard time getting uh, to the nib and the feed. Being metal, it is highly UV resistant, it is very, very simple. So no fancy piston to break or stuff like that. It's just a cartridge converter. And yet I, I like to bring just a box of international short cartridges. So this is a Caveco box, of course, but if you have different brands or different colors, you can create your own um, mix of uh, cartridges. So you don't have to carry only one color. You can have six colors, why not? And just rinse your pen in a bit of water every time you change the, um, the ink color. And also it's very convenient because once your cartridge is empty, you can simply uh, maybe rinse it or just plug the cartridge with a bit of paper so it doesn't leak the extra ink and just put it back in the box and take it home uh, to clean. So that way you don't leave any trash out there in the wild. It is a very compact package, so it is easy to transport no matter if you're hiking, biking, or doing a road trip. Uh, six cartridges with this uh, aluminum fountain pen 
uh, it goes like it's something around 30 to 35 grams so very light very compact package here uh, and finally it is not too expensive um, the Caveco Sport is not a cheap pen by any means but it is uh, it won't hurt as much as losing I don't know a vanishing point or a Lamy 2000 you can go with the uh, so the aluminum version is my favorite version I think it offers the best uh, compromise between durability weight price and stuff like that if you prefer uh, other materials of course you could go with brass or things like this but brass of course is twice the weight uh, I mean this brass pan is about twice the weight as this uh, aluminum one so in my personal opinion doesn't it's not worth it although I, I like brass a lot more but uh, for trips I think aluminum is the way to go again plastic will be much lighter with the same form factor same reliability and all that good stuff but plastic tends to be more fragile to I don't know heat uh, drops scratches chemicals UVs and things like this so I prefer the aluminum for all of these reasons so that's it for today's video um, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with this choice I think uh, I mean I've used it a couple times already uh, outdoors for trips and it always uh, served me very well I will be leaving some links down in the description if you're interested in looking uh, some of this ink and this pen and also a quick little note here uh, I think this type of uh, notebook is just the perfect uh, thing to go with your fountain pen on your road trip I'm not talking Rodia here particularly but this format I mean it is big enough for you to have like a decent uh, writing surface but it's quite compact it fits in any bag really any backpack maybe even if you're in your um, coat pocket if you have uh, big pockets there and just the uh, 96 pages uh, in this case this was like 450 so quite a good price for 100 pages of rodeo paper and again different brands offer the similar types of um, notebooks rodeo happens to be the one I have here but there's plenty of other good paper brands out there uh, Lurstrom, um, Tomo River, Rodeo is a good one I mean there are plenty, uh, Clafontaine which is you know related but there's, there are plenty of good options there I just wanted to let you know this is a good uh, in my opinion a good form factor to go with you on your trip so thanks for watching I hope you liked this video you can follow us on Instagram or here on YouTube if that's your thing and until next time have a great summer and have a great day See you on the pen nook.